Yes, yes, yes. It's the Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. It's the likes, it's the subscribes, it's the hitting that bell icon. And today, we're looking at and talking about Tyson Fury's first Las Vegas excursion. And uh, his dance partner, almost literally, was Germany's Tom Schwartz. Tom Schwartz. There we have it. Now, Tyson Fury made his grand entrance wearing the stars and stripes. There you can see the stars and stripes on the, uh, on the head apparel. The stars and stripes gown. Uh, rather fitting in Las Vegas. And uh, Tom Schwartz came out looking uh, a little bit more regal perhaps. A little bit more... More, uh, I like the black and the gold. I must confess, it. Uh, yeah, it works. It works. It works. Uh, and certainly, soon enough, Tom Schwartz would be seeing stars and stripes. Certainly, stars in his eyes due to the switch hitting of Tyson Fury, the orthodox left in the eyes. And then the orthodox right in the eyes for the second round when Tyson Fury switched it up. Switched up on him. Yes, there we see a very good jab that Tyson Fury was landing at will through the guard, through the high guard of Tom Schwartz. And uh, by the second round, even though Tom Schwartz showed some nice hooks couple of nice hooks in the first round that would have led one to believe that this could be an interesting night. No, by the time Tyson Fury turned unorthodox in the second round, Tom Schwartz seemed to be all at sea. All at sea. And uh, soon enough, he would take a knee to a barrage from Tyson Fury, who we see here seconds later, had his hands raised in the second round of this fight in Las Vegas. Another ramrod jab lands through the low ranking fourth best heavyweight in Germany, Deutschland. And Tyson Fury celebrating his victory, his easy victory. Very, very easy. The ESPN commentary team were going absolutely nuts. They were going nuts at this performance, almost ignoring the fact that Tyson Fury was fighting low-hanging fruit in the form of Tom Schwartz. Was there a chance of Schwartz pulling the upset? Well, he did have the Snickers. He did have the Snickers at the weigh-in. So that cast doubt. That put an ele element of doubt in certain people's minds that perhaps he could do. Perhaps he could do what another man had did in New York on the East Coast. Could he do it? Could he pull another shock victory? Could he do it? No, he could not, is the quick answer and the slow answer. It is just the answer. The answer is that Tom Schwartz had no answer. The fourth best heavyweight in Germany had no answer for the hands of Tyson Luke Fury. Tyson Luca Fury had nothing for him. Tom Schwartz had nothing for the Furious One. No, no, no. It was a quick night, quick night's work. And what much, what, what else is there? What much is, is there? What else is there for, for one to say? What much is there? What much more is there for one to say? Almost stumbled over my words there. Lost for words. <laughs> Oh dear, how 
Okay, so Tyson Fury did what he was supposed to do, earned a reported one million dollars for his easy work. As they say in the USA, it was easy work. And it was very, very easy work. But it did what it was supposed to do. It was a shop window. It was a shop window for Tyson Fury to say, Hey, hey America, I'm here. And he did just that. Rocking the stars and oh. And the, the, the go-go girls, the, the, the pink flamingo girls, the, the, the what is that head garment? Would you take out the girl on a date with wearing a hat like that? Most certainly not, sir. Most certainly. Let's have another look. Looks good, though. Kind of looks good. I might have to rethink my views on that. I might have to. Oh, can you see it? Can you see it? There we go. They are rocking the... Uh, the uh, feathers, the ostrich feathers, the simulated ostrich feathers. I'm sure they didn't pluck an ostrich for that uh, endeavor. But yes, I digress. Tyson Fury did the job. He picked the low-hanging fruit and the ESPN team were going absolutely nuts. Regaling, regaling in, in, uh, with fine words at the victory of Tyson Luke Fury. Uh, he's going to take another low-hanging fruit later on this year, September, late September, early October, he said. Some more low-hanging fruit. And then uh, in 2020, he said in his ring interview, he would be looking to tangle once more with the Bronze Bomber, better known as Deontay Wilder. So that was Tyson's night's work. And this has been Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. Like, subscribe by hitting that bell icon, comment and share your thoughts and the video on your social media devices. And I'm out.